I wanted to do a video comparing uh, booster guidance and the hopper guidance mods uh, because superficially they look quite similar uh, they can both make a soft landing at a target of your choosing but the way they do that is quite different and each mod is suited to different things so we're going to do some flights with each mod and um, see how they behave here is hopper guidance where we have this hopper guidance core part and we bring up its menu so let's set a target okay let's And let's enable guidance. Ah, let's try again. Good. Okay, so it's going to compute a trajectory uh, once, unless you ask to redo it, and then it's going to follow that trajectory thrust direction. And magnitude is showing you these red lines, the trajectory is obviously green. Okay, it worked. Now you can see that it did get off its trajectory uh, part way down and that's because the hopper guidance is ignoring the aerodynamic forces and that's what brought us off track. Okay, so that was good. Let's try the same thing with booster guidance. So booster guidance is on this um, tool bar here. Let's set the same target. Aerodynamic descent. We're just waiting till we start falling because that's one thing the mod is expecting. Okay, we're going to be off target. It's trying to steer aerodynamically. It's bringing that in a little bit, but it's basically trying to land um, safely. So it's, it's not going to try too hard to land at the target we're choosing, at least from that altitude. Okay, what about if we let it do boost back? So we just do aerodynamics. brings that uh, predicted landing spot into or close to where we want to land. And we're just going to force it to go into aerodynamic descent. Okay, so it's going to steer a little bit. It's keeping a very, very low error now that's going to land and burn. And it's down. Right, we're going to try something a bit more ambitious with proper guidance. Okay. Higher. Thirty that ten kilometers. 
do, we don't really want that fuel. So we're above our max velocity, let's raise that a bit. Uh, let's enable guidance. Right, we can still do this, although it's not very visible. Okay. Right, the direction it's trying to steer in is the red line, which looks accurate, it's staying close to the trajectory. You can see it's not trying to do like a boost back burn straight back, it's taking this long, smooth, curved path to get back. Um, it does that because it's sort of blending in a, a small number of um, thrust directions interpolating between them. Okay, it's well on its way back now. So we've got this max thrust angle 45 degrees. We can make that larger and the thrust more horizontally. So now it's struggling to steer in the direction it needs to. Up 200 meters per second, which is why it's going to have trouble. So, it seems they're going to use quite a lot of fuel just doing all these kind of corrective movements. And it's It's run out. Okay. So the booster guidance wouldn't do that, it'd be trying to steer aerodynamically, it wouldn't be using up all that fuel. Uh, but hopper guidance is a much more general thing that will solve for any type of trajectory. So we can stick some targets in like this. Okay, and land on there. Okay, let's go. It's often good to take off first, otherwise you can skim the ground. I think this kind of looks like a, a roller coaster ride really to me. And, uh, I love the way it can uh, smoothly follow this trajectory and hit target points. So, of course, what booster guidance does best is what it was intended for. So that's like a Falcon 9 um, return to launch site or land on a drone ship um, using this boost back re-entry burn and the landing burn uh, with the aerodynamic descent. Um, so you can see that happening here, just bringing the target into the predicted target into line. Now doing the re-entry burn. Okay, the re-entry burn stopped, 
and now it's going to do the aerodynamic descent. So the real problem Hopper Guidance has is it's, it's trying to steer to this pre-calculated trajectory using thrust, so it's just using up loads of fuel, so you really can't cope with any kind of aerodynamic um, descent or steering. Okay, just a single engine coming into land now. There we go. Um, I hope that's given you a good summary. Um, here's um, some bullet points of the two different mods. So to summarise, Hopper Guidance um, can give you multiple targets. Um, it works best when the distance is under 10 kilometres. When the speed isn't too high, it ignores aerodynamic forces, but it can um, solve for a wide range of trajectories. Uh, booster Guidance just gives you a single landing target but it can fly the booster back all the way from space to the ground. Um, there's no limitation on speed. It includes aerodynamic forces uh, and in fact uses them to steer. Uh, but the trajectory must fit this pattern of boost back, re-entry and landing burn. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, have fun.